first you will want to start off with the primed eye and this is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I apply that from my lid up to the top of my brow. And then I'm going to use two bases for this. The first one is going to be Let Me Pop. And this is a MAC Cosmetics base. And I'm going to simply apply this to the Once lid. Once you have Let Me Pop applied to your mobile lid area, the next thing you want to do is go in with a second base which is going to be Soft Ochre from MAC. And that's going to be simply apply everywhere that Let Me Pop was not. And Let Me Pop was, that was in an old collection. So the first color so. we're going to go in with is called Indian Summer. And Indian Summer is a pigment by Jessie's Girl. You want to go in with a flat shader brush, spray Spray it with Fix Plus or if you have an Evian facial spray. And then you want to dip it into your pigment. All of my pigments that I'm using for this look are laid out on a Kleenex. And you're going to simply pat this. Make sure you tap the excess off. Pat this on your mobile lid area. I'm going to go in with two orange colors for my crease and transition colors. The first one is called Roll, and it's just a matte orange eyeshadow from MAC and I'm going to apply this to my crease using my fluffy blending brush such as a 224 from MAC and you just want to get this blended into the crease. Rule you're going to pretty much use similar to how you will use a transition the next color. Next color I'm going to go in with is also from MAC and this is called Red Brick and red brick is also like a orange, a red tone orange, and it is also a matte color. And I'm going to simply apply this on my outer V. Well, not necessarily the outer V, but above my crease, but more focused towards the outer portion of the eye. Whereas rule, it was blended mostly here. But then gradually fade it in. This, this color way. we're going to use is going to act as a highlight, and that would be this color right here. And this is called Rice Paper from MAC. And we're going to take Rice Paper on a small shader brush. This is a MAC 242. And I'm going to simply pat this under the highest point of my brow. As well as on the inner tear duct. And blending it with the Indian Summer Pigment from Jessie's Girl. The next color One you're going to use is going to be focused on the outer V. And this color is called Print. This is a MAC eyeshadow as well. And Print is a semi-matte, um, maybe like a slate gray would be the best way to describe it. If you don't have the colors, well, if you don't have the brand that I'm using, I would just say focus more on the colors and the technique and use it to get the application down and to use pretty much whatever you have in your collection. Now that you have you know, print laid down, you want to just take a clean, fluffy blending brush and begin to blend the hard edges of that color out. And you just want to use circular motions. And I'm going to pick up a brown color to add to this. And the color I'm going to use is from my Diva Doll Flawless collection. And this is called Cinnamon Stick. And Cinnamon Stick is just a nice matte brown color. And again, I'm going to just simply blend this in my outer V. Once you've gotten those colors blended out, your look should mimic something like this. And I'm going to go on with yet another eyeshadow. And this is going to help give the outer V a little bit of depth. And the color I'm using is from my Domestic Diva collection. And it's called Sweet Dreams. And Sweet Dreams is just a matte black. The brush I've been using to apply these colors is my e.l.f. contour brush. So you just want to simply apply 
Sweet Dreams, which is the matte black eyeshadow, to the very outer portion of your eye. You don't want to blend it down on the lid. You just want to apply it right there in that crease. And don't worry about fallout because we can always blend that later. Now you want to take a clean, fluffy blending brush and you want to start blending that out. And then don't remember, don't forget that when you're blending these eyeshadows out, you're going to need to go back in and reapply some colors. That's just how it is when you are doing an eyeshadow look. So pick up some more of that red brick and rule that we apply in our crease. Not too much, but just enough to get that look blended together. so I thought my camera was filming and hopefully you can see what I did under the eye right here I went in with my makeup forever uh, flash palette and the color I used was this one right here which is called or gold and on a angled brush I simply took that color and applied it under my eye here and then what I went in with, and I just mixed this on my hand, was my Too Faced Shadow, um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's the glitter glue. And I just squeezed some of it on my hand. And then I went in with some of this MAC Golden Lemon Pigment. Alright. Now, I took Golden Lemon Pigment on the angled brush, and I then went on top of that or gold from the makeup forever flash palette now the next thing to do is to um tight line your eyes which means to simply take some black liner and apply it to the upper rim of your lash your top lash line and then i'm going to use my sephora waterproof gel liner and this is in black and i'm going to wing out my line at the top and then I'm going to apply some lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to apply are the 102 Demi's. Give me one second. Let me grab those. Okay. And they simply look like this. And these are by Ardell. The lash glue to apply my lashes is the Dual Adhesive in Dark. So I'm going to do the, all of that off camera and then I'll be back to work on the face. Okay, so the foundation combo that I'm going to use is my Studio Sculpt Foundation NC45 from MAC. And I'm adding a little bit of strobe cream to it. Now, I have it on my little dish here. And I'm going to use a little makeup sponge to simply apply this to the face. My face was already primed with my MAC prep and prime and it's the skin smoother base massage okay so I'm just going to get this applied all over and just bounce the makeup sponge off of your face
my hair and just wanted to show you all what the finished look is and I am wearing one of the shirts that I hauled from Ross I really really like this shirt it's the one with the see if I can the little tie and I'm just wearing some skinny jeans with it and my gray wedge heels or wedge sneakers um, that I purchased from Target. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen these. And that is all. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great night, dolls.